Hi there, this is Jerome from ProSafe Tutorials and welcome to this video. And in this video I'm going to explain how you can integrate a forum into your WordPress website. And why exactly would you want to have a forum in the first place? Well, a forum allows the people that are actually following your website to have a richer conversation with each other and they can more openly express the ideas that they have. Anyway, if you don't have a forum, what happens is people can only go to one of your posts and leave a comment below. In this case, I don't have the comment section open, but people would only be able to leave a comment about that specific topic that you wrote about. Anyway, when it comes to having a forum, there are a few things that you really need to understand. You should only have a forum once you notice that you have an active community on your website. By active, I mean people that are actually leaving comments on your posts regularly and also sharing your content on the internet. Because if you don't have an active community, what happens is once you open a forum, nobody goes there. And if nobody goes there, it's pretty useless to actually have a forum. Also, another thing that you really need to notice is having a forum also takes some effort from your part because you really need to manage the kind of content that people are talking about over there. You might actually be do it yourself or you might uh, get a moderator to do that. Also, uh, about having a forum, it's really great because it's another way for for you to have other people generating content inside of your website. Also, what we are going to do in this video, we are going to install a plugin to do a form for us. In this case, you will still have all of the options available from WordPress. You will still be able to write posts, add pages, and so on but we are going to install a plugin that will have some extra functions. In this case, you will be able to manage a form. This plugin is called BBPress. And let's go to their website and see how exactly this looks like. Okay, so on support, you can see that they have a form. And th this form is actually working on their, their plugin, which is called BBPress. So you will have something that looks similar to this that you are seeing over here. Once you click on one of the topics, you can see that people are can more openly express their ideas and ask questions this way. Also, you can click on one of the, the names over here and you have a profile. This is something that you cannot do if you don't have a form integrated on your website. Okay, so let's install it. For you to install it, you need to go to your WordPress back office. Once you are in your WordPress back office, on the sidebar, you simply go to plugins and add new. And you want to search on this small box for BB Press. You just press enter, and you can see that it's the first one appearing. So I'm just going to install now. And now I'm going to press active. Okay, so now I have the plugin active. And you can see that a few new sections appear on the sidebar for my back office. The first one that I want to change is simply go to settings and you can see that you have a form section appearing. And I'm going to click on it. Okay, so you have several options that you may want to check. I'm not going to explain each one of them. I'm just going to explain the ones that I find the most important, which is the first ones appearing. This allows editing after five minutes. This means that when someone publishes a new topic on your forum, after five minutes, they won't be able to edit it. So you may want to change this. You may want to add more than five minutes, let's say 10 minutes or less than five minutes. It's really up to you. And the second line over here, throttle posting every 30 seconds. This means that someone, once they publish a post, only after three, 30 seconds, they can publish a new one. 
this is a way for you to put uh, to prevent machines from spamming your form so this is something that you may want to change actually I will change this to let's say 90 seconds so once this is done you just need to press save so once this is saved we are actually going to create a few new discussions on our form so for us to be able to do that you need to go to the form section and simply press new form okay so the first form that I'm going to have is called general discussion because basically every single form out there has this discussion so talk about okay talk about anything related to WordPress so this is the um, the, the the main topic for this forum general discussion and this is just a brief description of, w of what your visitors can actually read so they can have a better idea of what exactly they can talk about over there okay so once that is done you might actually want to change type you have form and category but in this case I'm just going to leave it form and status I'm going to leave it open because I want people to actually talk over there in visibility you have public private hidden in this case I'm just going to leave it public and since this is the only form that I have currently available I cannot make it apparent from another one so I'm just going to press publish and actually I can now do a preview so I just can get a better idea of how exactly it looks like as you can see now I have this new discussion and actually I'm going to add a new one a new forum so I'm going to press once again on new forum in this case I'm going to have a discussion okay so once again I'm going to publish it and now let's go to the forum section and just see how it looks like so I'm just going to delete all of this this part over here and I'm going to enter over here on forums and now you can see that I have two new discussions so let's say that someone wants to leave a topic they simply click on general discussion and as you can see they can start writing a topic over here let's just write test just to see how it looks like test okay and actually they have several options to format their content over here below they can leave tags and topic type they can make it sticky super sticky and you're probably wondering what exactly is sticky well sticky let's say that a great idea for example for sticky would be form rules because it's something that you always want appearing on the first page of your form is the firm rules and also appearing on the top lines so that's exactly what is sticky uh, usually it's used for imp really important content that you want people easily having access to also topic status you can for example for firm rules you might want to do it close because you certainly don't want anyone leaving a comment over there and notify me of follow-ups replies via email that means that when someone replies to a specific topic that you have you will receive a notification to your email okay so now I'm just going to press submit and there you go I have my new topic appearing and once I go over here and click on general discussion I will be able to see the the topic appearing also as an administrator and this is just as an administrator you have over here a few options that you can use for example what happens many times is when you have a forum people will have a tendency of always leaving a, a question that is is always common and what you can do is merge that that new question that they had to your forum with a, another one that is exactly uh, the same so this is an option that you want to, may want to use and it's really useful also you have other options as you, as you can see over here okay so 
let's go back to our back office and once I click on all forms I can see the the forms that I currently have available I can also go to all topics and see the the topics that I currently have uh, available and over here there are some options that you may want to use let's say that someone went to your general discussion and they left something that is, has nothing to do with general discussion and you may want to move that topic to off discussion so you can easily do that by going to that specific topic and over here where you see form you simply click on off discussion and you just press update okay so once I now refresh you will be able to see that now the topic that I just moved went to off discussion as you can see over here this is a way that you can actually move topics around depending on what you want okay so that those are the few options that you have with forums and there are also another things that you can use which is under uh, widgets you will see that you have a few new widgets appearing belonging to your forum one of them that you may want to use is BB Press Recent Topics. In this case, it really depends on the theme that you, you, you are using. A few themes actually allow you to add uh, widgets to your footer section. In this case, I only can add them to my main sidebar or post sidebar. So I can actually have this one, Recent Topics. Just going to press Save. You can also change the options over here that you see. And now I'm going to get to forums. And I, I'm going to my main page. And you can see that now I have recent topics appearing belonging to my forum. And this is something that you may want to do. Okay, as you can see, there's a little issue over here. The issue is that if someone actually goes to my main page, they don't have any way to easily assess my form because I don't have any link appearing on the navigation bar. And this is certainly something that you want to do, and it's really simple. So you go once again to your back office, and over here you go to appearance, and you go to menus. I already have a menu created, but if you don't have one, you just need to press quit a new menu and then you have the sections that you want by using the options that you see over here available. In this case I want a link to my main forum which is this page appearing over here. So what I'm going to do is simply copy my URL over here. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to custom link because this is a custom link that I want to have. Over here on URL I'm just going to, to paste what I just copy. And over here I'm going to add link test, I'm going to call it form. And I'm just going to add to menu. And I'm just going to organize it the way I want. I want this appearing over here. Okay, over here you want to also select where exactly you want this navigation bar appearing. And once again, this really depends on the theme that you're using. In this case, I have selected main menu, which is exactly this section of my website. So I'm just going to press save menu and now let's get to my home page and you can see that now I have this small little link appearing over here so anyone who wants to go my, to my form they can easily assess it by clicking on this link and as you can see now I have the form over here appearing. Another thing that you may actually want to check is on BB Press website you may want to get to plugins and you can see that there are additional plugins that you can add to your firm over here. So you may want to check it and see if there is anything that you really like. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends. It might actually be helpful. And that is all for this video. Stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and bye.